Julie of the Wolves is a novel written by Jean Craighead George, featuring illustrations by John Schoner, and it tells the fictional story of a 13-year-old Eskimo girl named Myax. For most of her life, Myax has been raised in two cultures. To her fellow Eskimos in her small fishing village, she is Myax. But to the white-skinned visitors in Alaska, she is Julie. After running away from an arranged marriage and an abusive husband, Myax is forced to escape into the harsh Alaskan tundra in an attempt to make it back to civilization. While in the tundra, Myax is driven to the brink of starvation and as a result is forced to attempt to communicate with a nearby pack of wolves for help. Calling on centuries-old Eskimo knowledge passed down by her father, Myax is able to interact with the wolves and their initial wariness eventually gives way to acceptance. Eventually, Myax is forced to choose between her two identities. Will she return to civilization, or will she stay with her new family in the wilderness? Will she be Myax of the Eskimos, or Julie of the Wolves? Jean Craighead George has had a very long history with the wilderness and the outdoors. Born in 1919, Craighead George grew up in a rural area outside of Washington, D.C., and spent most of her childhood camping outside, climbing trees, gathering plants, and observing all kinds of animals. During the summer of 1971, while on a writing assignment for Reader's Digest magazine, Craighead George and her son Luke flew to Barrow, Alaska to study the local wolf population. Under the direction of national researchers, Craighead George learned how to communicate with the wolves and learn their own native language. Here, she found her inspiration to write Julie of the Wolves. Jean Craighead George passed away at the age of 92 in 2012. Craighead George had authored more than 100 books in her life and will be regarded by many as a woman ahead of her time and a widely known author of young adult literature. Julie of the Wolves is also illustrated by John Schoner, who is an illustrator focusing on science fiction novels and nature stories. Schoner received the Hugo Award for Best Professional Artist in 1965 and the Caldecott Medal in 1988. Schoner recently passed away in 2010. Julie of the Wolves was Jean Craighead George's most decorated novel, being awarded the John Newberry Medal in 1973. It was given the American Library Association's Award for the Most Distinguished Contribution to Children's Literature in 1973, and it was also inducted into the Library of Congress soon after. An Inupiaq woman from Barrow, Alaska, disapproved of the book's depictions, calling them misrepresentations, she says that Julie of the Wolves blends two different native Alaskan cultures together, the Inupiaq and the Yupik. She points out a few of these inconsistencies, such as the blend of both Yupik and Inupiaq words. Also, Julie of the Wolves was the target for a number of challenges in the 80s and 90s, although most were unsuccessful. In 1982 in Missouri, the Mexico Town School Board voted to retain the book in local schools. It was challenged for socialist, communist, evolutionary, and anti-family themes. Perhaps the most well-known challenge came from Pulaski Township in Pennsylvania in 1996. There, Julie of the Wolves was removed from sixth grade classrooms due to a scene containing an incident of sexual violence directed toward Myax. In the scene, Myax is thrown to the ground by her abusive husband Daniel, who then tears her dress but runs out of the house soon after. However, this scene has been defended by Jean Craighead George herself. On the topic of challenges calling the scene rape, Craighead George stated that many challengers took the scene out of context. Daniel was trying to prove to his friends that Myax belonged to him as his wife, and the scene's main purpose was to provide Myax with an urgent reason to escape from Daniel and venture through the Alaskan tundra. The reason that G Julie is so unique is that it's a girl coming of age and it's somewhat the way Sherman Alexie tries to write about the conflict of culture. Uh, Sherman has a slightly more graphic idea of explaining it, but it's how modern white culture has affected Native American culture. Despite these few negative reviews and challenge cases, Julie of the Wolves is viewed by many as a book that needs to be kept available for children of all ages. The novel deals with the theme of identity and trying to figure out where one fits in the world. While perhaps not as edgy as The Absolutely True Diary of a Part-Time Indian or Persepolis, The Story of a Childhood, 
Julie of the Wolves still deals with a main character stuck between two conflicting cultures. This makes the book relevant beyond just the time in which it was published, and it's what has kept it on shelves for more than 40 years after its publication. Craighead George's love for the outdoors can be seen in all of her works, but is perhaps most obvious in Julie of the Wolves, the tale of a young girl trying to find her way out of the unforgiving Alaskan wilderness, while also trying to find herself in between two separate cultures. Thank you.